Hello my friends and welcome back to the studio. David Kessler here and today we want to talk about gesso. What is gesso? Well, gesso is a primer. For those of you that don't know what gesso is, it's a primer. When you buy canvas at a store, it has a white finish on it. Your canvas is not white. Look at the back of the canvas to see what the color of the canvas is before gesso is applied. Gesso gets applied at the, at the factory, usually in multiple layers, and then it's sanded, put on, the, put on around the stretchers, packaged, and sent to your local art supply store. Right? The canvases that you buy come with gesso on them. It's a primer. It, it seals the surface of the canvas and keeps the paint from absorbing into the canvas. That's its job. It also has a little bit of a tooth to it so that it holds the paint onto the gesso surface. It's a primer just like you'd use if you're priming woodwork for your home. It does the same thing. It's just a canvas or paper primer. And it's used both for acrylic paint and oil paint. Okay, I use acrylic gesso because I'm an acrylic painter. Right? My favorite kind of gesso is Utrecht Professional Acrylic gesso. I've used gesso from every major manufacturer of acrylic paint and without question, without question, the Utrecht professional acrylic gesso is without question the best there is for my use. Now, I want to say something. Utrecht does not pay me to say this. All right, they don't give me paint. I have no association with Utrecht whatsoever. But I do love the product, and I tell people wherever I go in all my workshops, if you want good gesso, get the Utrecht Professional Acrylic Gesso. I mean, look at this stuff, man. Look at this. That is some creamy goodness right there. It is smooth. It, it creates an amazing surface for your paintings. Now, I put it on in a little bit of a textured style over my canvases and paper. Um, just to get a little bit of a background texture uh, for my work. It's not, you know, overpowering or anything, but it gives a little bit of a layered look in there, a little bit of a textured look, just a real subtle difference in there. Um, it's beautiful stuff. It's creamy. It's gorgeous. There you go, right on my finger. It's creamy and beautiful and wonderful, uh, smooth. Sometimes when you buy canvases, if they're not properly sanded after the gesso is applied at the factory, they can have a really rough surface. And that rough surface will grind down your brushes uh, and it's not pleasant to paint on. But if you coat it with another coat of this stuff before you paint on, now you have to let this dry, right? Put it on there and let it dry. And it'll create a wonderfully smooth, beautiful, rich surface for you to apply your paint to. I've used this now for gosh, probably 15 years, 10 to 15 years, 12 to 15 years. Um, and I did a lot of experimentation with a lot of brands before I came upon this one. Uh, I can't tell you how much money I've spent uh, in gesso that didn't work. It was too thin, uh, it was rough, it was grainy, uh, or it cracked, right? It was so thin, you put it on there two days later, you're getting ready to paint on the canvas and the gesso's cracked. Well, <laughs> that defeats the purpose of putting the gesso on it, right? If it's gonna crack, you don't want your underlayment of your painting to be cracked. So this stuff's great. I mean, absolutely great. Again, Utrecht doesn't pay me to say that, but I've used it so long and so much that I can't say enough about how good this product is, particularly compared to uh, many of the competitors in the same market. So if you're looking for a really great gesso, whether you're using it for texturing or if you're using it for sealing a paper before you paint, I use it on my watercolor paper uh, to seal the surface of the watercolor paper. That way the paint doesn't seep into the watercolor paper and it provides exactly the same surface that I paint on on the canvases. That's the reason I use it for the watercolor paper. Just great stuff. Uh, so if you want to learn more about products and how I use them and how you can use them too, be sure to join me for a workshop. Hopefully I'll be somewhere in your state or your region across the country. You can see a list of those workshops 
and my website, davidmkessler.com. And I hope to see you at one soon, and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like the content of these, please hit the red subscribe button, button there and leave some comments below if you have any questions for me. And I hope to see you at a workshop or on the next video. Thanks.